Welcome back everyone to another episode of Le Plata, where we are in a great war. And some Frenchies just landed on my border, so I'm going to go destroy them. Uh, you guys should be fine over there. I'm pretty sure Peru can deal with all this. But yeah, we're a great war right now. A great war! Oh no! And... Basically, I'm hoping that once these guys crush all these armies, they're going to come help me. Because I'm not going to be able to hold this off forever. In fact, it's very possible I could probably die. Oh my goodness. Germany, send your... Okay, you know what? Since you're not going to protect me, Germany, I'm going to run. I'm just going to run. There's no point in trying to hold... Oh, and uh, the UK just became fascist, everyone. Just, just so we know. Okay, yeah, I'm going to run because you guys didn't want to protect me. But I'm totally willing to help you guys out, but you have to learn how to protect me. You know, I could probably turn the battle over there. I can't really turn the battle... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, um, but yeah. We're basically holding off as best we can against the combined forces of the French and everyone else. Um, looking at this battle, objectively, we're probably going to lose. Um, the Scandinavians are absolutely making no progress over here. Uh, and the Germans are being butchered by both all three units. So, what might be a good idea as Pomerania acquires acquire Upper Sicilia is... I can't peace out. Damn. <laughs> okay. Um, is we might just need to see if we could just maybe get out of this war peacefully, but I don't think there is no peacefully. We might have to be squished to be out of this war. And let's see. Somebody is calling me, so I will be right back, people. Okay, we are back, people. And apparently, there's an event of enemy in my enemy. Yes. Why not? Yay, I became allies with somebody I didn't really care about. So, let's see. I just entered in a battle I probably shouldn't have. Yeah. We're gonna lose this pretty badly, I can already tell. Um. Wow. They completely surrounded this unit. There wasn't much I could really do. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Germans got completely owned in this war. I was up, up hard the losing side. All my troops are gonna die in this battle. Yep. Okay. Yeah. It, we are at our wits end, people. Germany is not as powerful as I thought they were. They're going to get crushed by the amount of forces. We are... What? What? No. We will not be victorious. I don't know why you're sending propaganda, because... Oh my, did somebody just call in more people? Oh, that is... What? Austria installs a communist government in Germany? Wow. Huh. Damn. Communism is spreading, everyone. This is like... Wow. Uh, <laughs> that like makes me feel kind of like this world is going to... Yeah. Hey. hey. Yeah. yeah. I have like two armies going to go kill you up, France. You guys are not going to live. Trust me. You guys can beat me over there in Europe, but you're not coming into my land and think you guys can beat me. Heck no. Heck no. Alright. But yeah, it seems like we are definitely going to lose this war. I mean, there's not much I can really do about it. Germany just doesn't have enough manpower to support it, and my troops are over here in safety land, known as America also, and there's not much we can really do to curb their influence. I mean, I would love to add in Italy and, like, make another front and, like, you know, completely distract their armies, but uh, I'm not the world leader right now, so I can't really do any of that. Um, hopefully, I won't get anything called against me. Hopefully, it'll just be Germany. They'll just get mad at the Germans. Because I'm not submitting to anything. And let's see. Yeah. Germany lost all of its major troops. It's basically... Uh, everyone, let's slowly watch the fall of Germany. In a very slow mo fashion. But, at the same time, let's protect our own country to make sure that the French don't try to do anything stupid. Yeah, you see, I didn't even need all my army over here. My armies are so good that I didn't even need all of them. And let's see, the Peruvians are defeating them. Good job. Let's see, is any of my land being sieged? Probably not. Yeah, well, my land's pretty much protected. Yay! That's nice. I also got my army over here that's going to be using for conquest. Let's see. Oh, there are some Frenchies over here. Damn it! If I could use my Indian reserves right now, this would... Oh my goodness. Wait. I can call in allies. What? Okay. What? When did I get the ability to do that? 
Okay, okay. Really? I can call in allies. Alright, uh, America, America. We are not the leader of this one. Can I call allies into it? What? But I just. Oh, yeah, because they're a puppet. Hmm. That's why. I was about to say, wait, why couldn't I call in? But I was like, oh, it's because they're a puppet. Yeah. Well, anyways, that puppet has about, I don't know, a lot, a hell of a lot of troops. So they're just going to just swarm the French over here. I mean, this is not even, I mean, three troops, even with that, is not going to be able to compare to all this. A civilized nation is going to be able to beat those two troops. A at least I'm hoping. I'm, I'm seriously hoping you guys can be able to defeat one troop. Arousing cheers for Empire. Yes, arousing cheers. Hmm. Okay, and it looks like Orissa has also been for Man, it's just... The British have lost so much control over this region. All because they became... The now the Republic of Britannia, one of the... That's even the most ironically named thing ever, considering they are the fascist nation right now. Yes, and let's see. Yeah, they're mostly... They're mostly gonna cut up Germany. Slice them up, dice them up, whatever you want to call it. That's fine with me, just leave me out of it. I'm not in this anymore. Uh, I'm just watching as my as everyone slowly starts to die around me. Ecuador is having difficulties. I'm not sure if they could deal with it. Uh, they can't. So I'm gonna go send my uh, Equatorian army to go back over here. Go help defeat all those guys. Help reestablish control over my men. And we're gonna hunt down that army eventually. But they can't really do anything. They don't have. Try mounting an invasion of America, and you guys will see how difficult it is. Uh, but if I could call in my Akuda, what the heck? How many countries are fascist in this game? Like seriously, I feel like we have a ton of fascist and communist nations in this game. Goodness gracious. Uh, man, but if I could call in my ally of America, you know, I don't know what they would do to help, but I guarantee it'd be something. <laughs> I don't know what, but I know it'd be something. Why am I influencing Switzerland? I, I'm not influencing Switzerland. Why is Switzerland in my sphere? I don't know why they're in my sphere. What the heck? I don't know. remember any of this happening. Uh, man, Germany, man. Germany is just... They're about to get majorly pwned by all the world powers. This was like, this was like the turning point for like, us, Germany. Oh, uh, man. Oh, well. That's a... It was a very good fight while it lasted. And I just realized I got my little vassal involved into this too, so they're probably gonna go bankrupt. Shoot. Okay, that was not my intention, but at least my little vassal, I feel so bad. Sorry, India, I did not mean to include you in this. That was kind of my stupidity acting up there. But, oh my goodness. And then, the only way we might be able to pull a win out of this, and the only way we might be able to get anything out of this, is if by chance the British declare war on the, um, French right now for just some unexplicable, unexplained reason. That way you would probably divide up the French's army, which means we might be able to do something. But I'm pretty sure the Germans mostly might has been crushed, so there's not much we can really do about this. Uh, which means our prestige is going to drop again, and that means our army is not going to be able to be at full maintenance for like five years. And we're going to have to be paying war reparations, may I remind you. So we might as well get our economy. Good thing our economy is insanely good. Otherwise, we'd have really bad difficulties with that. Yes. Go economy. Go, go economy. -y. Do, 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 do. Go, go economy. -y. Yeah, probably 50% taxes is where we're going to have to go with you people. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. The leaders, the leaders of your country chose wrong in terms of who was going to win. They got too impulsive. Oh, man. This is, this is not going to be the greatest thing in our country's ever known. But let's see, that should help keep our boosting up, our economy, our wartime reparations. So many battles, pointless right here. Ah, Germany, man, Germany. You got overswarmed, Germany. You could have won this. Oh, wait, we have Italy on our side? What? When did... Italy is at war with the Soviet Union, Austria. Oh, they're just, they're just taking advantage of the opportunity. Good job! Maybe you guys will turn some Austrian heads around. We kind of need some help if you guys didn't notice. Like seriously, if, if more people could be declaring war on these guys and driving more of the troops away, that'd be really nice. Like, really nice. Okay, let's see. And since the French are not going to be in this... Hmm. Oh, Platine Ingenuity! Yes! 
We will gain some research and we will gain some fun stage. And yeah, as you guys can always see, they made it to Berlin. Pretty sure that's Berlin. No, they haven't made it to Berlin yet, but without a big enough army for me to actually be able to transport over there, they basically made it to Berlin. Well, at least I could say that the Italians are going to make out in this war. <laughs> that's pretty clever, Italy. Let's see. France! Goodness gracious. Don't you dare come back into my land. Okay? This is not like you guys can actually win down here. Trust me. If you guys sent in like 40 different armies, maybe you guys could win. But I'm more powerful over here than you. Trust me about that. I, I've done the math. I'm more powerful than you over here. Okay? I'm also friends with somebody over here. Who am I friends with? Hmm. I don't really know. But Ecuador is having more difficulties. Uh... This is why I sent in an army to go make sure that they do not become rebel uh, killers. Because I knew this was going to happen. Yes. Alright, let's go crush these rebels in their main hideout over there. And back over here. Hmm. Germany's basically destroyed. Of all cases, we have uh, Lindy, Zanzibar, Scandinavian. Huh. It's a good thing no one wants any of my land. <laughs> I'm just over here in like my land being like, yep, yep, you, you guys can just find up Europe. And let's see. Um, the Italians are totally industrializing, pushing some of the Austrian and Fre and Soviet Union troops out, but it's already too late because the French and everyone else's forces have already crushed whatever men we did have. <sighs> now I just have to wait for the surrender. But, yeah. That's basically all I'm waiting for, for that surrender to come. Acceptable pensions is good enough for me. Let's see. Congress not fulfilled, yeah. They better not, I don't think, yeah, I really don't think I'm going to have to lose anything in this. Because I'm not, they're not saying dismantle my empire, which is good. Which is good, because usually sometimes the Great Wars do that, but they didn't say, they didn't add the cause bell, I'd add dismantle my empire. Well, uh, wow, you guys are so greedy in this. Damn. Okay, now let's see. Yep, French have completely closed off what they need. Let's see, in my area, the Shikla Empire. I'm trying to influence them to become part of me because they're actually a pretty powerful race here. Or a pretty powerful, like, nation. But look at that. I mean, second day power. Look at that military might. Oh, man. So good. Also, let's see. While we're still at it, because I'm not sure if we'll still be in, you know, added this. Yeah, that's still a part of my sphere. Good. But let's say if you guys are not a part of my sphere, I'd be so mad. Let's see, Italy. Okay, now the now the Italians now they're starting to feel the full wrath of the uh, Austrian Empire. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Italy. You guys gotta be careful because Austria is hella powerful, and they're going to crush you if you aren't careful. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And France is completely seizing up the rest of Germany. And with that, we just have 84% defenders occupation. We have absolutely... We're basically going to lose this because of our allies. I mean, we have absolutely no one in our borders that killed us or occupied us. But we're going to lose this basically because our allies are... Weren't the powerfulest and weren't the best. Yeah. Although this does present a very good, like, future war if I ever want to kick out France. Hopefully they won't steal my uh, platine Nigeria because I still promise those people independence. Like these people are still getting independence. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna do it. It's just I was gonna do it at the very end of the game. But I know if we have France in control, they'll never give those people independence. Never in a million years. Let's see. They might also steal my uh, Chinese provinces, which I'd be very sad about because I spent a lot of time educating every single one of them. But they cost me a lot of money to educate every single one of these guys, and if they steal them, that'd be really sad for me. Okay. Oh my goodness, what the heck is going on with India? Seriously. Britain, you are losing more and more control every second. Wow. Man, Britain, you became fascist actually was a terrible idea for you. And Bashir. Let's see, the Soviets are now swarming Italy. So Italy is also going to now be conquered. And Scandinavia is about to get destroyed. I'm the only one in this entire coalition, or this entire Trotant, that actually did not die in this. 
So I'm just going to watch as, I, as the battles, the defender's occupation, and the war score all kills me in the end. Okay. Also apparently have a war goal against you guys because I want to install democracy. No, I want to get the Falcon Lands. I still have a core on that? Huh. I didn't know I still had a core on that. Okay. Wow. It's both a core of Argentina and La Plata. So even if I revert back to before days, that's going to be awesome. Also, apparently I'm like second in military power and I haven't even industrialized. What the heck is going on around here? Is everyone dying? Boy, seriously, what the heck is going on around here? Let's see. Republic... Spain's only... What? How did I become the military power of the world? This doesn't make any sense. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I became the military power of the world. Okay, there we go. Now we're paying war reparations. Hopefully they didn't steal too much of my land. Uh, my military is now way smaller. But at the same time, I just actually created a logistical colonial province. Wow. Hmm. That was unintentional and completely sidestepped. I did not expect us to actually do that. Okay, we can also do it right here, I guess. I mean, sweet. If more people want to move to my land, completely do it. I, I'm still a nice person on the inside. Okay. Um, let's see. Did they take anything immediately off of me? No. What did they get? Let's see. So, they got the little land over here, Pomerania, built. Don't know why. Uh, Austria beat up itself a little bit right here. Uh, France didn't steal anything, I guess. Uh, we got reinforcement of hospitals. And our economy is... Even with the amount of stress of paying war reparations, we are still pretty good. Now, that's a good thing, too. Like, even with war reparations, 11,000, we're still like, eh, our economy is still about the same. Uh, we also have major difficulties in terms of building up. Uh, we're not allowed to build it. Are we under peace treaty? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, basically, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use a lot more of our manpower to control a lot more of this. Germany, the war is over, yes. I know. Okay, and there'll be no more good wars for a little bit. But Germany is now... Oh, wow. And then now Germany just had the rest of its breakups. Uh, the Bosovian Republic, which means the, the communists. God damn it! France, why did you just spread communism to, like, everywhere? My goodness, France. You just... You just... You know you just doomed yourself for the future, right? Because there's literally three communist nations, like, right there. Right there, there's a big, can we, where's our political parties? Oh man, I wish, you know, I kind of wish the political parties was more like a, um, it would show what country, what it is right there, like it'd be showing like there'd be massive red spots. I think, I don't know, I feel like political parties would be much better use of that. But seriously, friends, what did you guys do? Oh, you're a republic too, you guys just realized, you guys just, oh my goodness. Uh, well, it's a good thing my economy can pay for all this. You better not take my... You better not take my land over here. This is my land. I paid for it fair and square. Wow, there's a lot of platinum people over here. Shoot. You know, if we can actually make these completely states, maybe I won't let you guys become free. Uh, that's a joke, people. Of course, I'll let these guys come free. They're just going to take me a little bit. Going to take me a little bit. Okay. Ranches. No, Santos current production is valuable. Yeah, it is. I mean, I really don't... I'm really not in too much debt. I'm really... And you know, I made out pretty well with this. I'm not in too much debt. I'm not really, you know, destroyed economically, prestige-wise. I'm just, you know, this is actually not that bad. I, I could totally deal with this. But, man, is the world kind of scary right now. There are lots of socialists and fascists in the world. In fact, let's see. I'm going to look at the ledger. Let's see. Um, government types, national value ruling party, political ideology. We have, well, maybe it's not because there, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine communist nations, but all the communist nations are probably very powerful, and then tons of conservatives, then we have a good amount of fascists, and the biggest fascist is the Republic of Britannia, which is, I, I, maybe there's not that many more fascists in this game, it's just because the fascists are so, or in all the big positions, like they're all in the major powers of the world. That's what I think I feel right now. Like, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a very interesting episode where the entire world just became red and red and black.
Red and black, everyone. That's the two colors that we have in this world, and it's looking quite scary for Europe. So, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.